you've seen in a previous video where I bought this a little alarm module low voltage buzzer alarm lost model alarm and I want to add an alarm to this I1 extreme this is the module I'm going to use problem is the battery plugs into here and there's no way to plug this guy in anywhere because there's no balancing connector on these batteries there are two one cell batteries that are not connected uh, in, the, in the pack so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this work by adding a balancing connector it looks like that pigtails to this battery pack so that I can plug in the balancing connector to the alarm and that will be connected to the battery and I will have a low battery alarm on the i1 extreme but I have more than one battery. I have three batteries currently, so I don't want to connect this to the battery, this uh, balancing connector, because I would have to buy two more of them, and I've only got one. And this is the only aircraft I have that doesn't have balancing connectors on its batteries. So instead of that, I am going to connect this uh, balancing connector to the quad itself. The way this is going to work is um, it's always got to be plugged in to the lowest input here, the uh, minus terminal. And what I found was the wire colors do not match standard conventions for balancing connectors. Here's a 3S battery. You can see it goes black, yellow, green, red maybe that's blue uh, and the black wire and I did test this the black wire is the lowest voltage of the pack and so orient orienting the connectors the same way I found that the red wire on this balancing connector is actually the lowest should be connected to the lowest point on the on the battery pack or the quad so what I did is I would easily get confused by this black being in the center and I wouldn't know if yellow or red was was uh, was negative so I ended up just coloring the connector with a sharpie to indicate that that side is clearly clearly the negative side so it'll be very easy when this is done to plug this in correctly every time and I'll never get it backwards I do put it on backwards, I don't think it'll hurt anything, I won't hear it kind of boot up and initialize. So this will just make it easier to connect. Um, um, and uh, So on to connecting this, this uh, new balancing connector to the quad. Now I don't want to connect it to the pins because obviously I need to connect the battery into there. And I, I'm not going to connect it to the battery, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to, if I can point here, I'm going to connect it to the solder that those pins are connected to on the board. So there are four pins, and to find out, first of all I wanted to find out if, if uh, since the, the battery um, has basically two cells that are not connected. I wanted to find out on the quad if these two center wires are connected uh, in a short circuit configuration on the quad. And if so, I have no trouble uh, making this work. So I used my trusty VOM, took a resistance reading on the two center um, solder joints there, and lo and behold, I get zero ohms. Those two are short circuited on the board. So really, there's a high voltage, the medium voltage, and the zero voltage um, terminals there if you just use the left one, the center two, and the, the right one. So now, all I need to do is solder this connector on there with the correct polarity. 
So the question is, which one is which? And looking at the board, I could not determine which one is which. So what I did, what you can do, you can set your battery up where it would connect in. And here you can easily see that, and we know on these batteries it's, it's one cell that's plus and minus, and the second cell is plus and minus. So if these are shorted together on the quad, then this black is going on the left is going to be the zero volt side, and this red on the right is going to be the 2S side. So on my connector, I need to make sure that my red wire, which is minus, my red wire needs to be on the left here. So it actually will be connected like, like this. So red wire goes on the left, which is not intuitive at all. But I'm going to put my hand here, flip it over. So now the red wire is going to go on the right. So looking at the quad like this, the connector needs to be just like that, connected in. So red on the right, yellow on the left, black on either of the two center solder joints. At this stage, I have rerouted the wire for the PPM receiver because I want to put the alarm module up here where the PPM receiver was. I didn't find a better location for it. And I wanted the receiver antenna to be pointed vertically because my transmitter antenna is going to be pointed vertically and that's how you get the best range with the dipole antenna. Run them in parallel. So I have removed one of the LEDs one of the LEDs and I have run the PPM receiver wire into the body and around under the tray. I had to take the tray out again. That's uh, in the, another video I think part 3 or part 4 of the, the i1 uh, extreme uh, upgrade to Mobius camera and then the wire comes behind where the LED would go it comes behind here and out through this uh, this uh, plastic tie here and and then the wire runs along to the receiver the receiver is velcro connected the velcro to if I can get this for for you can, there's Velcro behind the receiver on the other edge, on this edge back here. And this receiver just almost tucks perfectly into the width of this leg. And I did bend this connector out a little bit. You can see it there. It's angled out so I don't have any rubbing here from vibration. I very carefully bent the pins. The pair of pliers have bent all three at once. And then the receiver antenna now is captive by the foot of the quad. So it's basically vertical or nearly vertical and protected. So now that I have the receiver relocated, so now that I have the receiver relocated, I can work on making those solder connections with the balancing connector. The soldering is done, and like I said, it's yellow, black, red from left to right, yellow, black, red. It was a little bit difficult because these wires were stiff. Um, they are stranded, but they're, they're pretty stiff, small wires, and uh, I was able to get it after a little bit of trial and error. I had to be very patient at the first time, but slowly got there and I routed the wires underneath the board and they pop out they 
come underneath the board and underneath the battery also. You don't want it above these cross supports because the battery will put pressure on there and it'll probably cut through after it vibrates enough. Uh, pops through here and comes up. Comes up and plugs into the battery alarm. And you can see the minus terminal there and the black side of the connector. So that's correct. Next thing to do is plug in a battery. See what happens. See if this will be a good day or a bad day. If I smoke this quad, I'm not going to be a happy camper. So here we go. So, cover that, we have two LEDs green, which means the first and the second cell are both charged. So the only thing to do now, put the cover back on, and do a test run with each battery and see how much time it takes to run the battery down just hovering to trigger the first alarm. One thing I wanted to cover uh, that I don't think I mentioned before was I'm wearing this really nice wristwatch, wristwatch when I'm making these videos. No, this is not a wristwatch. This is an anti-static strap. So when I walk across the room, if I build up any static charge, instead of zapping the quad, this uh, strap, this metal connects to my skin uh, when I'm wearing, wearing this and the other end of this it's got uh, some stretchy coil in there but the other end is an alligator clip that I clip onto a ground uh, to my house water piping so I always put this on uh, before I start working on any sensitive electronics and this quad the i1 is full of sensitive electronics so i would recommend you get one of those straps before you attempt to work on your i1 you need to shock it with static and need a new control board it is replaceable there are instructions for it it can be done um, but why go through all that when you can buy an anti-static strap for under two dollars i think it was um, from china and and protect your equipment I've test flown the new the new uh, i1 configuration and with the Mobius and uh, a few things I noticed were quite different the since the receiver here is so exposed the LED is very bright on this receiver and it's actually very visible um, so it could be handy for uh, for orientation purposes. Um, I did record the times. I'll have uh, the new flight times and you know when the the battery alarm comes on at the right at the end of this video. And uh, the battery alarm here in front was was very very easy to hear. Um, when this thing's a hundred yards away, it'll be easy to hear, I'm sure. So. So that's that's a big success. Um, it was not in the way of the camera, so everything's good there. Otherwise, um, I'm very happy with this battery upgrade, upgrade, and I'm looking forward to flying it outside.